It's a heavy one. Jeez. Really heavy. So journey to uh, Chubutaha Liveaboard starting now. It's almost midnight. We got to catch a long ferry, overnight ferry, to Cebu City so that we can catch our flight. We had a lot of packing to do. There's a lot of stuff. You ready, Elvis? Yeah. Bye bye, Louis. Bye bye. You'll be good. Okay, sit. No, <laughs> don't crawl. There you go. Okay, bye. Thanks for the ride. Film a lot of critters. A lot of critters? Yeah. I think we got enough stuff. I got my camera. My other one. My other one. Your one. Your backpack. I hope it's enough. We gotta go find our room because it's midnight and I'm yeah. tired. two bedroom otherwise Elvis is sleeping on the toilet well we found Elvis a little bed just outside the room because there's like a thousand of them and they're not really full so anyways it's midnight let's get some sleep when we wake up we'll be in uh, Cebu City night night little buddy <laughs> see you tomorrow Born in Cebu. Look all this calamansi. Smells so good. Yeah. There's a lot of calamansis. We got help with the luggage. That's cool. Found our hotel. It's got a fancy light. <laughs> Leo P. We just got one as close to uh, where we're going as possible. So we just weighed our bags and they're uh, 41 kilos and 21 kilos for the biggest ones. So we might have to even those ones out. I think I only got 30 kilos for the plane. <laughs> it's only 80 pounds. Yeah, something like that. Sherpa Elvis, AKA Shelvis, found the luggage thingy. All right. Well, home sweet home for like a day. I had to pay extra for early check-in. It was only six in the morning. You had to pay extra? Yeah, a lot. What the hell? Yeah, check-in's not till like two. That's so stupid. What's breakfast? Never. All right, no rest for the weary. It's nine o'clock and this dive store, this big dive store is open. So we're gonna go check it out. All right, Bubba, where are we? Uh, Pacifica. Yeah. Look. Oh my God! They have nudie brink uh, slippers. Look, this one looks like a taco. That's. It's <laughs> not a taco. Oh my God! Look, I'm moving these. Dude, oh, we haven't God. even gone inside yet, and we just spent all our. Look at that luggage. Yeah, look at that luggage. Dude. dude, we got we gotta leave. We're gonna spend all our money. We're not even supposed to spend any money here. <laughs> Only. Only a tech diver goes, all this stuff goes straight to the bolt snaps. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, He's over here in the corner looking at his freaking bolt snaps when there's like $2,000 BCDs and oh my God. Some cool stuff. That's probably the best one. Holy moly. Look at these carbon fiber uh, for second stages and oh. What you guys got two grand? No. This one. The S Tech and with doubles. I don't even want to look at the price tag of this. I might have to sell my firstborn. I need to make a firstborn so I can sell them. 
Damn, that's way cheaper than I thought. That's cheaper than the regulator. 84,000, <laughs> still a lot. <laughs> what kind of scuba nerd did we create? Look, he's ignoring like the, the cool stuff and going straight for the bungee. Oh, wait. Damn it. Kind of need this. Is there a four millimeter? I'm calling them nerdy, but now I kind of want some. We just got our side mount gear and we need bungee. <laughs> our local store only has black. Dude, look at this one. This is our next project at the resort. Our own tank facility. Night trucks, advanced, like higher night trucks, about 40%. Yeah, and air, just regular tanks. And, uh, yeah. It's gonna cost a fortune. How much is this? They don't even wanna say. That's how, how much it is. Elvis, hold this. No. Hold this. No. Hold it. You're holding $10,000 in your hand right now. I'm not joking. <laughs> That's a ten thousand dollar mask. Five hundred and fifty thousand pesos. Get away. Back away slowly. So I heard about this on another channel. You guys remember Etch a Sketch? Back in the day when you're a kid, they got underwater slates that are remind me of Etch a Sketch. Check it out. It's just like an Etch a Sketch. <laughs> You see that? <sighs> just take my money. Well, we just filmed this. Uh, what's the price? Four hundred and ninety thousand. Four hundred and ninety thousand Filipino pesos. I'm not even gonna do the math. That's like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Full titanium uh, limited edition dive mask and our regular ones from Goal. So, uh, next we're gonna do the nice fancy S Tech BCDs. So, these are my jet fins that I absolutely love and have I, I've had them for like 15 years. And we're about to review these jetty fins from Goal, but they're $700. So, we're about to figure out why. These are so expensive and I mean they are pretty nice though. These are not bad for $700 fins. Well, <laughs> they better be good for $700 fins, but you get my point. I could really use a sponsor from Goal. Anybody has a contact in Japan? Let me know. If I show this to Elvis, he's probably gonna like try to walk off with them. But look at these adjustable strap clips. Oh my God, that sounded the nerdiest thing ever. If you're a tech diver, you know what I'm talking about. You got your Hergarthian style, just very simple, which is pretty much all we have. And then your adjustable, I think they call them pro style with Scuba Pro. But uh, those are some uh, good looking adjustable clips that we would use for students. So easy. I want those gauges. All right, we're back in the hotel. We got a ton of editing to do. We're gonna try to get ahead on all these videos. We got like six gear reviews and stuff that we filmed today for the other channel. And we're gonna try to get that ahead so we don't have to worry about anything at Tubataha except for filming uh, the new videos, the, the underwater, the sharks, and all that stuff that we'll be doing there, so. Thanks guys for watching. This is gonna be an awesome. Tomorrow, we'll start filming uh, the Tubataha trip. We'll fly to Palawan, spend a night there, and then the next day we're on the boat, going all the way out offshore. And then we're on boat for seven days. So should be a sweet trip. A lot different than the small macro critters and exotic species we see in Darwin. It'll be all sharks and mantis, I hope. <laughs> I hope. So, Elvis, say goodbye. Yeah.